350 years ago, astronomers saw a star appear in the sky that they hadn't seen before. Scientists knew that sometimes stars became brighter and then they could disappear. What they'd never seen before was a star that became brighter, disappeared, and then somehow reappeared again. This impossible star could have easily been dismissed as a mistake and forgotten. This all happened a long time ago, so maybe there was just an error in their observation. But the man who documented this anomaly was one of the great fathers of modern astronomy, Giovanni Domenico Cassini. It's really unlikely that Cassini or some of the other contemporary astronomers are going to make a mistake about noticing a star appear and disappear. Across Europe, people are sharing information, they're corroborating their notes, they're making meticulous details, and everything's lining up. Something strange is going on with this star. Initially, Cassini thought he had witnessed the intense, short-lived bursts of light that fade and return when a dying star explodes. Scientists remain in the dark until 2015, when astronomer Tomasz Kaminski uses cutting-edge techniques to study the impossible star. Kaminsky realizes that the nebula of gas surrounding the star is too massive to be the product of a single nova explosion. This indicates that it isn't the remnants of one star, but two. It suggests Cassini may have witnessed an incredibly rare cosmic event. The observations of these nebula are absolutely crucial in explaining how this star appeared and then disappeared. This is called a red transient or a luminous red nova. A red transient occurs when two stars like the Sun, main sequence stars, collide. The resulting explosion throws off such a huge quantity of debris that the dust cloud envelops both stars. Debris cools and hides the light from the stars. And when it eventually clears, we can see the star again. And so the star appears to disappear and then reappear. Events like these are incredibly rare. Even when galaxies collide, it's very rare that stars collide. If this really is what's going on, the father of astronomy recorded something that very few observers have ever seen.